Hey everybody, Steve back here with a little tip. And today I'm going to talk about materials for different items and how you set it up in your template and what your defaults are. And I've done an extreme case here. Sorry about that. Um, I've set this house up where all these materials are the same color. The fascia here is this bright color. The window trim is the bright. The sash is the bright. The doors are bright. Everything is bright. In fact, even my interior, the cabinets are bright. This door, it's bright. Everything. So my point here is this, is that a lot of times you'll be working on a plan and a lot of the default chief templates have colors that are the same for different objects and you go to paint something so you grab this and you're working on the exterior trim and you want to change the color of this trim and you go to the manufacturer's catalog here and you pick out some bare paint or something and uh, let's just say i don't know it doesn't matter just any color here and you hit the plan icon down here so you can paint all your exterior trim the same color and not only do you paint your trim but you paint your doors you paint your fascia uh, and you go inside here and your cabinets and your doors and your window trim and even your interior doors everything got painted the same color and it's easy to avoid that um, i'm going to undo that and the way i do that is that I go into my defaults and let's just start with windows because it's it's clear and you can see i've set the default colors to be all this bright and so the interior sash the exterior sash everything's bright so if you paint something, you're going to get, the, like here, if you paint the sash blue on the outside, it's going to be blue on the inside because they're sharing the same material. So how do you fix that? Well, you go here to select material and go to plan materials and color bright and copy it. And I'm just going to rename it completely. I'm going to call it color white colon uh, sash exterior. Now it's a new material and I'm going to say, okay, and then do the next one. And I've already done some of these, like here's sash interior. I've created these already and then trim exterior, color white, trim exterior. And then how about interior, trim interior. And basically they're just copies of the same material but renamed so they're each each one of these items now is a unique material and uh, let's look at doors interior door the trim on the interior and the exterior of an interior door is really the same and it's normally painted the same so you can select those both collect this and go like white trim interior this is the same like you painted the windows and then the door, interior and exterior, I would say you would want to use, like I've created this already, white doors interior. And call it a day. And then you can go to your roof tab and your materials. And like here, this is white exterior trim. So that's why I didn't change when we painted it. I've already changed it to a particular material. The molding here and the gutter, I created a new color for that called white gutter. So that was bright at one time and I just changed it. Now, if you go in here and you want to paint, um, let's just say you want to paint something. Okay, let's say marine. These, the windows exterior trim. And there you go. It didn't paint anything else. It just painted those and uh, if you want to go in here now and paint this interior door say you want to paint the trim bone you can paint the trim bone but it doesn't paint the door so you can paint the door actually a different color maybe gray 
Now see the door here. Let's undo that for a second so I can look. If you look at this door, it's still bright. That's because the door doesn't, for some reason, change automatically. So if I put a new door in here now and I check this, it's changed to white interior doors. So I can take this bone color and paint the casing, but it doesn't paint the door. And then I can take a new color, um, like this gray, and paint the door. And there you go. And if you, um, let's see here, if we center on there, and I go around to the other side. You can see it's painted the same way. The door is gray because we have the same color on both sides, same material. But the trim is bone. And th this trim is the same color as the window trim. You remember we made it the same. Now, if you want to paint these, the sash here, this sash is white sash interior. So we can actually paint the the uh let's go into the library and just pick some material uh, maybe oyster and we we have plan now so we're going to paint the interior sash of all windows is going to be oyster and if you look all the windows have changed the good thing is the uh, window color on the outside has not changed is still blue and the sash is still white so that's why you want to set those materials up separate and the, the other thing you need to do is when you do that uh, is to save these so select material go to plan materials and just add these to your library one at a time So you don't have to reduplicate your work again. And uh, you'll have them. And then you create yourself a directory and put those colors in there and you'll always have them. Or you can set your template up so it's, you know, all your doors, windows, cabinets have unique materials. So you don't accidentally paint them and change everything. Um, I, like this door here is bright and this door is bright because we haven't gone into our defaults but when you go into your door defaults the garage door has materials and exterior doors have materials and you can set them up unique so that if you paint this door on the outside it doesn't change this color if you want them to be the same then you make them the same material so that's a little tip hope that helps i, I mean many times i've been involved in a house and I thought, you know, the trim color, let's experiment. And I click on it and all sorts of things get painted. And it's like, oh, man. So I got the same unique materials, you know, the same material on the exterior trim as I do maybe on the fascia. And, uh, you know, sometimes I want that maybe and sometimes I don't. So anyway, just a quick tip and hope that helps.